Hi right, guys, what's up? It's Sila. I'm pretty sure everyone saw the title. Now, hold up! I know everyone's interested in the giveaway part, but let's actually talk about the video part first, and then we'll get into the giveaway. Now, like a week ago, I sent out a story saying that there's self-powered cables, which pretty much allows you to place a cable, an outlet, a turret, and boom, the turret is powered. You don't need like an actual generator in the new vicinity. So pretty much, I'll be talking exactly that in this video, and I'll be going over everything like how to build it um, different ways to uh, use it how to switch it on and off and also i'll probably cover how to counter it as well there is like a one very specific way to counter it and i'll also talk about that as well now that doesn't like isn't like always useful but it could help you definitely but yeah so about the giveaway right thing that everyone's interested in the giveaway obviously isn't paid by me <laughs> i'm way too poor for that shit so it's sponsored um, so let's actually talk about the sponsor first, and then I'll get into how to enter the game. Phoenix Gamer is an art cluster that currently features six different maps. It is a community-driven server, meaning everyone gets to participate in deciding the rate, map, and other settings on the server. It is currently running with three times rate, which is six times normally, but I'll change it, which is slightly higher than small tribes, but also lower than most unofficial server out there. Also, with five-person tribe, it is a perfect place for those who want to take a break from the hot official grind and enjoy some laid back and exciting balance pvp completed with a discord support board for reporting issues Phoenix Gaming will be wiping on the 2nd of October which is this Friday so if this sounds like something you're interested in make sure to go check them out I'll link them the discord in the description below right so that's out of the way let's actually talk about the um, giveaway now you'll see in the background which is me pretty much demonstrating glitch but I don't think that requires a lot of you know voiceover so I'll talk about the giveaway I'm pretty sure you're interested in that. So the giveaway, right? Um, sponsored by Phoenix Gaming, obviously. So to enter the giveaway it is very simple. All you have to do is leave a comment below of a single random structure that you see in this video. That random structure can be anything in this video. It doesn't have to be placed. It just has to be a structure shown in this video. I'm going to pick a winner in three days or so. So yeah, just comment a random, literally a random structure that appeared in this video. I will have the random structure already typed in the Discord. Uh, I will hide the channel so like it will show up and the date will show up. So it's obvious I didn't like fucking make it up midway just to give the prize to someone else. But yeah, the prize of the giveaway will either be a Genesis Season Pass or the Art Core game you can choose. There will be two winners. Uh, if you have like both of them, I don't know. I guess I'll give you like a copy of Among Us or something, whatever. But yeah, um, I'll send you the Steam, uh, I'll just send you it through Steam or whatever, I'll deal with that later, but yeah, just comment literally any structure in the description below that appeared in this video, and yeah, and you'll enter the giveaway. Right, so that's out of the way, let's actually get into the voiceover of this thing. So you probably saw on the screen while I'm talking about the, um, the giveaway, like, that I built a very normal structure of a generator. Now, as you can see here, if I use a flexible cable, the tip of the flexible cable it actually isn't moving. And that is how you snap the um, cable onto the um, Quetzal, which is exactly how you need to do this glitch. So you need to place two cables on the Quetzal and then you need to snap a normal cable. It literally doesn't have to be like a dedicated generator. It can literally be from your main grid on your main base. Just snap it onto the Quetzal. Just make sure that uh, end of the flexible cable isn't work uh, isn't moving and then it will snap onto it make sure the cables are powered and then you're good to go now if I place an outlet here as you can see the outlet is powered so that's how you know it's working uh, you can like you can literally place like a fridge on the quetzal and the fridge will be out without any generator on the um, quetzal so I guess that's interesting you can also use like a generator on the quetzal if you don't want to place a generator on the floor so yeah um, that's actual that's also a choice now it can power like normal things, and for some reason I thought grill could be powered, but that was S plus, so never mind about that. But yeah, pretty much anything that can be powered with electricity can be placed. That can be placed like on a platform can be powered using this glitch. It doesn't have to have a generator here, as long as there's an outlet and there's cables. So good. But I mean, no one's really interested in like you know having powered stuff on a quest, so that's not what people's interested in. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it using um, just placing like a normal cable on the ground and how to snap that and make it pretty much just powered on its own without the, the actual generator. 
So what you want to do is place a turret. I'm just going to use one turret for, uh, for here, but you can have as many turrets as you want. It's literally like a normal generator. It's like a fucking moving generator. So what you want to do is place a cable just next to the turret, like in range of the turret. And then after you have the cable uh, next to the turret, what you want to do is you want to fly the quetzal towards the cable. So you want to fly it all the way towards the cable. Uh, you also want to line it up so the right side of the quetzal or the quetzal with or the side with the cables are actually lined towards the thing. Now here's something to keep in mind. The cable can't be snapped to the same um, end. Like you can only have one flexible cable snapped to like each end of the um, diagonal cable, not diagonal cables, the crossover cable, whatever the hell it's called. So make sure that there's only one flexible cable snapped to each end of it, or else it will not work. Like the cross cable. So I'm just gonna pick this up and show you guys how to actually do it. That was a failed example. So here's how to actually snap it. Now, as you can see, the one on the right already is already occupied, so that won't work. However, if you snap it to the left, that one works. So, as you can see right here, there like the flexible cable actually stays with the quetzal, so you are like you can clearly tell that um, which end of the cable on the quetzal is occupied and which end isn't occupied, and you can actually place um, you know a flexible cable to that. Now, right here, that cable right there is powered without any generator nearby. That generator is way too far to be able to power it. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And then all you want to do is snap a outlet to it and there you go, you can power it to it. Uh, there's no cables anywhere. There's no invisible cables anywhere. You didn't connect anything. It is literally like a wireless connection with cables halfway across the map if you can. Now I'm going to show you how to do it, like quickly show you how to do it on like a turret tower or something. So. With a turret tower, you can, all you have to do is kind of just build up. Just build up, like, I don't know, 3-4 ca vertical cables, how high, like, however high your turret tower is, whatever, just make it as high as possible, I guess. And then, what you want to do is, again, just fly the cards over here. I'm going to show you again, it does not work if you snap it to the same ending, just to prove to you that it absolutely does not work. As you can see right here, I will be snapping it to the same ending. And yeah, as you, like it, it just does like those cables doesn't stay in the same place and it doesn't light up yellow. Lighting up at yellow is pretty much the indication of whether this glitch works or not. So I'm just gonna pick that up real quick and uh, yeah, pick it up real quick and I'll just place it again and make sure it works this time. There's also like something very interesting about it that I'll show you just a second after I place this cable. So right now I'm using the front of the cable to snap using the vertical, uh, using the flexible cable, and there you go. Those cables on the ground are indeed powered. So what you want to do is, again, just place an outlet on top of all the cables, or pretty much anywhere along the cables, they'll all be powered. However, if you only have turrets on the very top, what you can do is actually you can just demolish the cables below, and yeah, people could like come in the turret tower and be absolutely confused, and have no clue what's going on, because there's no cables below and there's no generators nearby. You can also use like horizontal cables all the way up there, which makes it even harder for Raider to actually find out because they can't see a generator, they can't see anything that's actually powering the turret, there's no tech tur tech generator nearby, and that's like very annoying. Alright, so that's like the first part of the video gone, now let's move on to the second part where I'll be showcasing how this exploit doesn't work, which is um, whenever you like demolish certain structure, this exploit will fail, and also how to actually remotely control um, this uh, turret, like the turrets connected with this, these exploits. Now, if you demolish the flexible cable, the ca the uh, cables that on the ground that's connected to the flexible cable will actually shut off. So those flexible cables have to stay on the Quetzal platform at all times for the six point to work. Now I'm just going to come back to the generator right here. 
Now, if you turn it, the, turn the generator off, obviously all the cables everywhere will get shut down. The good thing about this is, as soon as you actually place back a cable that you demolish, those things will like instantly repower. So everything will just repower. I'm just gonna place one here. And uh hmm. Alright, there we go. Now the Quetzal is powered back again. And I am going to just place back the cables and show you guys how it actually works. Now if you shut off the uh, generator, obviously all the cables on the Quetzal and everywhere that's connected to this rig will uh, be powered off. Now there's something really interesting. Now have a look at that turret all the way over there. Let me show you in a second. Alright, that turret over there. Now that is powered right now. If you shut it, turn the generator off, that shuts down. Turn the generator, generator back on, that turns back on. So you can actually remotely control turrets from as far away as possible. You can be across the literal map and you can connect, uh, you can like toggle turrets at your base. So yeah, that is like the easiest way to toggle turrets on and off. You can shut down a bunch of turrets at the same time using this glitch. You can shut, turn them back on. You can literally turn them on anywhere on the map. You can have like one in the outpost like behind enemies base and then just turn them on when people is pushing your base or something. I don't know. Just allows a lot of flexibility. Now, obviously having two cable isn't going to be enough because of the cable limit. You can only connect one flexible cable to each ending. So what you want to do is kind of just place a bunch of cables all the way around the Quetzal because Quetzal have like a pretty large structure limit um, that Arc allows. So you can just place a bunch of cables and you can connect literally like 10 grids onto one Quetzal. And like keep in mind that every single cable that you place on the ground is automatically like a new generator. So you can connect cables to that cable and all those cables will also be powered. You can have like an infinite grid um, just pretty much going from a single glitched cable. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. And yeah, um, again, make sure to leave a comment of a single structure in the comment section below to enter the giveaway. I'll be choosing it in a few days and I'll send you guys it through Steam and stuff like that, whatever. Enough for me. And I'll see all legends in the next one. Peace out.